David Dimasquita back again. In today's episode, we're gonna get lit. <laughs> and we're not talking bonfire. So, we're gonna be jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> knee slapper. <laughs> Just hit him with the knee slapper. <laughs> How does alcohol affect your gains? Now, this is a very typical question because you hear it either doesn't affect your gains or it'll murder your gains. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> so what does the data actually show us about alcohol and making gains in the gym? In a 2014 study that we have, it shows a reduction in mTOR production by 37%, which reduces down your muscle protein synthesis. mTOR is responsible for this process. Now, I'm not trying to fear mongrel you because I'm about to jump into the double lies in the dosage. For instance, if you are someone that needs to have a beer a day, it is really not going to affect your muscle gains. If you're a 220 pound bodybuilder, for instance, you can probably get away with three drinks in a day before it drastically impacts your muscle protein synthesis and your gains. So if you're smaller, you're probably gonna be looking at less. So in an average size male, most of us can get away with two drinks. I'm not talking about two margarita bowls. I am talking about two beers or two servings of a liquor, not doubles, before it drastically starts to impact you in a negative way as far as muscle protein synthesis goes. Another thing that we also hear about alcohol is how much it impacts our testosterone. We have studies that actually show it does not affect your testosterone levels. What I will say about that though, is alcohol, if you're drunk, which again, will affect that muscle protein synthesis anyways, will block your REM cycles three and four. So you can't get into a deep state of sleep. This will have a negative impact overall health and performance, as well as potential impact to the hormones at the end. On top of this, alcohol, up regulates aromatization, which is a process of converting hormones into estrogen. Now let's just take it down to a basic level. A lot of people when they're drinking alcohol, they tend to eat big meals with this alcohol consumption. If you're going over a caloric surplus, you have higher odds of converting this food into fat tissue. And again, this is just on a basic level. If you're trying to optimize your gains, me personally, if I have one drink, I wanna have two, and then I wanna have three, and then I wanna have four, and then I want to have five. Probably not the best decision for me. You're someone that can control your alcohol consumption, not going to kill your progress. Me personally though, I would much rather have caloric consumption of food rather than alcohol, especially if I'm killing my workouts day in and day out and I just want to make as much progress as possible. I hope this clarifies some things for you guys where alcohol, if you want a glass of alcohol or a glass of wine or a beer, is not going to put everything to a halt and stop you from making progress in the gym. Hope this busted some myths for you guys. Catch you on the next one.